know what? I'm not even going to talk about this, this built-in webcam from a laptop and you probably can see why. Welcome back to the channel guys and first and foremost I'd like to give my heartfelt thanks to all of you guys who've been continuously supporting the channel so far. I cannot thank you guys enough and for those of you who are new to the channel please do consider subscribing by hitting on the subscription button right here and the notification bell right next to it so that you'll be notified whenever we have new content. All right, so we'll try not to take too much of your time today, so we'll just dive right into it. And let me just quickly shift things a bit. And while I do that, let me show you guys exactly what we're gonna be talking about. I'm not even gonna talk about this this built-in webcam from a laptop and you probably can see why because as you can see it just it just sucks all right so as of right now we're using three cameras one being the logitech c930 and then one being the, the logitech c920 and then the other one is a mobile phone which are all recording simultaneously right now so you can see the quick difference so um, for this particular video, I'm also adding the, the mobile phone because there are instances where you are actually using your mobile phone, which more often than not, especially these days, they're way better than the cameras that come built in with laptops. The major difference that you'll be able to see from these two web cameras will be the field of view and the depth of field. Quick crash course on the depth of field. Depth of field actually has a lot to do with the sensor that comes with the camera. It actually is what's responsible for putting a distance between you and the background. Anyways, what I'm talking about here, at least as far as these two cameras go, if you notice on the C930, where my finger is at right now, right here, on the C930, the room looks a bit deeper and the field of view, you'll actually be able to see the floor right here. Now, if you notice on my mobile phone, it can be as close to the real, I think it can be as close to the real colors as it can possibly get. As far as the needs, the C930 is concerned, it is, uh, I mean, it, you can already spot the difference, you see? So the C920 is a bit reddish in as far as the color grading is concerned. And then for your C930, it is quite better. Personally, if I was to choose a camera, I would probably use the C930. Why? Because for a small space like the one I have, I mean, this, this space right here is just about 10 square feet if I were to measure it. It's really, really small. And you can see there's actually a lot of headroom here and you can still see the floor here in my space. So with that, let's go back to our main screen and let's quickly wrap things up. So there you go. I hope you find this video helpful. And if you do, the big thumbs up button is just waiting for you down there for you to smash it. And if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, the subscribe button is also right next to it, along with the notification bell. My name is George, and as always, if I can, you can. We'll see you next week. Guys, guys, welcome back to the channel, guys. <laughs> no, no, it's not gonna work. No, okay. How about break pass? Can we say break pass? Man, the resolution in this thing is just awesome. Hey, people can see my pores with this thing. Hey, can we do an episode on coffee? I mean, still work from home and people still have coffee for breakfast.